Today we're going to mix 100 milliliters of sodium alginate to print out of the Lulzbot Bio, and then we're going to load that into the syringe pump. We need 98 milliliters of deionized water, 2 grams of sodium alginate powder, and then 0.02 grams of Alcyon Blue dye. The dye is because the sodium alginate is clear, so we want to be able to see the print when it's printing. So we've got our 98 milliliters of deionized water with a magnetic stirrer. Then we're going to add our 0.02 grams of Alcyon Blue dye. And this stuff is going to make it really blue really fast. And then we're going to slowly add our 2 grams of sodium alginate powder. Because the sodium alginate wants to clump together, we're going to have to slowly add it and mix it for a few hours so that it reaches a consistent viscosity. So now we're going to load our 5 milliliter gas tight syringe. We've got a big air bubble on the top, so I'm going to stop, flip it upside down, put my finger over the top, pull vacuum, and release. And now I should be able to push the air bubble out the top and then continue filling it. Now we're going to add our syringe collar to our syringe. Uh, you'll see on the syringe collar there's a skinnier section and a wider section. The skinny section goes towards the top of the syringe and you slide it into this slot and it'll click into place. Um, so now this is ready to be loaded on the machine. We just need to add a dispensing needle. So this is the lure lock. You just tighten it into place. So now I'm going to power on the Lulzbot Bio, and it'll run us through a startup routine. And the first thing it's going to ask is that the bed and on top of the printer is clear. So I'll say yes, and now the carriage is going to move to the syringe unload or load position. Now if you had a syringe in here, you would remove it. After that, the machine's going to level the X gantry and home the plunger to the top. And now the machine is going to level the X gantry. And now it's going to move to the syringe load position. So we've got our syringe with the collar, we have our thumb screw, and we can now load it into the syringe pump. So this collar presses right into this slot, and then we can move the carriage down to where it touches the top of the syringe plunger. Now I can add my thumb screw and tighten it down. And then we're going to extrude a bit from the syringe pump so that the needle is primed and ready to print.